I'm Richard Vobes, I'm the Bald Explorer, and it's time for another walk. I'm in West Sussex. I'm close to Rackham, the little tiny hamlet of Rackham in West Sussex, just north of the South Downs, between, I guess, Storrington and Amberley, in fact, lovely rural place. And there's two things I want to have a look at in today's video. I want to go and visit the Rackham Rocks, which I visited when I was a young man years and years ago. And thanks to the OS map and uh, actually one of my viewers, Cynthia Julian, who reminded me exactly where it was. Um, and also a water mill that used to have a pond by it, but the pond has now disappeared from the 18th century. I think it was working until about 1925, which is nearly over 100 years ago. So I'm starting um, just down from Parham House, or Parham, as they like to call it, which is in that direction, and not far from Greatham Bridge, or Gretham, as I think they also like to uh, pronounce it. And I'm going to be heading south. So let's get going. <laughs> Before I go any further, I just wanted to draw your attention to this absolutely fantastic fingerboard with its pointing here, 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 here and here. I absolutely love them. They are quintessential English and when you see them in the countryside, they just, you know, they add something to it, I think anyway. Um, and it's a, a, a beautifully looked after example. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. Let's crack on. So signpost, a good sign, um, and according to our OS map, which uh, just for those who are interested, it's the OL10, the Arundel and Pulborough map, um, we are travelling a little bit on the West Sussex Literary Trail. Mm. So who knows, there might be a few books en route that we can pick up and have a, a little read about where we're going. Meanwhile, I'm heading up this way. <laughs> Wow, look at this, look at this, amazing. What an incredible tree. I, I love this walk already. Um, and this is the, the amazing thing, is these walks will just take you through little bits of countryside. And here we've gone through this wonderful woodland, which has a bit of holly. It has this, which is, I think, oak, looking at it, um, that has fallen covered in this amazing moss um, all along here. It's got some rabbit droppings down there and, and it's been here a while because look at these branches reaching up, up into the sky. Absolutely fantastic, love it. Right, the ground is a carpet of, um, well, oak leaves here. We'll carry on, get to Rackham um, Rocks. Well, this is absolutely delightful. Um, this actual area that I'm walking on now is part of the Rackham Rocks. We're actually on the sandstone. If you were to dig down here, you'd find it. This is um, like a promontory of this, um, the sandstone, basically. And I'm not 100% sure where the rock face is. I think it's in that direction. So. I need to consult the old map one more time and see just how we get round there. I think it's down there. Oh, well, looks like I found it all right. Here they are, fantastic um, cliff face of the, the um, Rackham rocks, this beautiful sandstone. Remind me not to get that in the camera or on the lens. Um, but yeah, used to come up here um, 
every now and again drive down to Little Hampton and meet up with some friends and then of course you climb up these amazing rocks and I dare say at the weekend people still do that it's probably great fun um, I'm not going to do that <laughs> I'm not going to do that now I've got a, a water mill to go and find just over there though um, opposite is this in incredible well I don't know whether it's a church or a church hall or a, an old school I think it's the old school here at Rackham Rackham is this old village um, I guess it goes back like so many villages um, many 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 centuries um, it's in the lee of the South Downs you get a terrific view of the South Downs um, and then there's this incredible stone church um, well I think it's stone and looking at it, it's probably ironstone it's probably sandstone probably um, taken from here I don't know whether they did any quarrying work from here but absolutely amazing um, but there's so little here now apart from on the route up there's Rackham Farm and the farmhouse and and some expensive houses whatever community was here has long gone that's my climb done <laughs> I braced it I embra embraced it um, I'm back on the public footpath back on the literary trail now and heading a little bit west and then going uh, down south to see if I can find this water mill and I'm really excited to see if I can see it so um, I've come as I say along this path the day is beautiful there was rain uh, earlier this morning it seems to have all dried up so let's crack on <laughs> Oh, I love these bridges. Little stream here going across, and then this very substantial bridge here, which is ensuring you can get across, I suppose, stream, brook, don't know what you'd call it. And then as you come out, you get this amazing view of the South Downs, and we're very close to the mill. That's such a, such a beautiful view. You've got the ridge of the Downs there, it's just, amazing I love it I love it being outside walking in the fresh air being healthy just what could be better well ladies and gentlemen here it is the water mill massive great big wheel here clearly the the stream that we saw earlier was coming down here turning this it's beautiful flint building flint pointed by bricks at the sides uh, an amazing building 17th century operated until about 1925 which is just under 100 years ago and here it is Flint beautiful what a magnificent building unfortunately we can't get in it which is a shame um, but I'm told or I read that uh, some of the workings are still in the mill itself it's got it looks like it's got a corrugated roof on the top there corrugated iron and all around this area um, you've got these reeds growing up from the streams I don't know whether they were used originally for thatching or something like that but it's amazing <sighs> these are quite incredible reeds all along here by this little stream I'm imagining that must have come down here well anyway I've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching it's been great to come and explore of this the uh, the Rackham rocks and the water mill here and there was at some point um, a mill pond but apparently that's gone long ago but there are these incredible reeds anyway don't forget to subscribe follow like all those things and why not become a patron and support what we do for a, a small amount each month price of a cup of tea or coffee it would just help get the petrol in the car and me and my team 
out and about exploring this wonderful countryside. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Till then, bye bye.